and gents to another Experience Africa video. In this episode, I'm going away to four four-star lodges. So these private lodges, you get 99% inclusive. They drive you around, they make you food. So, so this is gonna be Kruger, two lodges, and Sabi Sands, two lodges. So the biggest question that we're gonna be answering, are these lodges worth experiencing for the amount of money that one has to pay to go there. So please guys, join in and uh, I'm excited to show this experience to you. It just got serious. Three, two, one. I have arrived, follow me. This is a great spot to work if you want. There's a PowerPoint over there in the corner and there's a PowerPoint just on the other side of the pool table here. Yeah. Pool table is also a lot of fun. This was from last night or even early this morning. Like I said, animals tend to use the easiest way. So they'll use the roads to walk on. So like with all hyena, if you can see we've got the four toes here. This is quite a young hyena actually. And then we look at the back pad. Only has two lobes in the back. Okay, so now what are we going to do now? Now? Yeah. We're about to sunset. Uh -huh. We're about to move. We're about to check the nightlife, the animals that are moving night. What are you going to find us? Oh, leopard. <laughs> <laughs> what is, do you hear this? He's promised us a leopard. Ooh. Exactly. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now we go to the big man over here. Exactly. Where are you taking us? What are we going to find? Um, hopefully some cats. Okay. Some cats, yeah. Now we're gonna okay. see what we can get. I mean, maybe some night life would also be, also be cool. So What's your favorite animal? Lion. Oh, yeah, why? No. Ah, it's a stigma. Yeah. Everybody loves Simba. So. Okay, Simba, eh? This is honestly my favorite time of the day because when darkness falls, you have no idea what's lurking around you. Yeah, from Bush Lodge. just got back from our morning game drive and there are some elephants walking right past the lodge this is so cool this is why being on a river being 
at a lodge on a river is the best. So my time at Nkombe has come to an end and it has been absolutely spectacular. That leopard at the end was a cherry on the top. This man over here was so good to us. That's it's fine. Come, 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 come. If you come, please, 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 please do me a favor and ask for him. Now, Marco, what was your favorite part of the experience? Oh, just to see everyone being happy, seeing um, that everybody had a good time. Yeah, not just the leopard, but you got to see some other amazing things as well. Very cool, very cool. Uh, finally, uh, I asked you yesterday what your favorite animal was. What has been your most favorite experience here at the lodge? We've had some awesome cat sighting, obviously. This is what this area is known for, but there's so many other things to see. We've seen some epic bird sightings. We've had ellies coming into the lodge. Like right now, there's some elephant literally yeah, right. Elephant right, in front of the, exactly. right in front of the lodge now. People exactly. are having a great time. From the, from the decks of their rooms. That's very so. cool. So guys, if you want to come on an epic safari and have the best guide in the world, <laughs> literally top 10 guide over here, there's a bush buck over there. On that note, thank you very much. See you later. See you later. See you soon. I am so excited about this. Like this place is in such a good area. Great experience. So we're going to be walking in a single file. Of while we're walking, no talking. If we're talking, we're not listening. So I'm listening out for alarm calls from birds, especially animals. It could give me a hint that there's a dangerous animal in the area. Always the chamber is empty. So first of all, I take my pinky, make sure there's nothing inside the chamber. Then I depress the rounds, bolt goes halfway across. Second time, make double sure there's nothing inside the rifle. Close the bolt, pull the trigger. So this rifle is safe, it cannot fire. Just to make everyone at ease. It's amazing. Inside there will be a seed. You tack off the seed, all right? And then you tack the pot, put it all together in water, and you boil it together. So the tea tastes more like rooibos tea. Thank you for wanting to go for a walk. That was brilliant. And uh, breakfast is ready right at the back here. You guys can go enjoy a nice breakfast, well-deserved one.
So what sometimes happens is you find that two nomadic males lions, if they like it, they can form a coalition together. Mm -hmm. This guy was actually seen with his son sleeping about maybe 10 meters away from each other, doing nothing to each other. The next morning they were split apart. So I'm not sure if they're deciding to bond or it's just the coincidence of the kill. But it would be great if they bond and become a three male coalition. This guy and that one and his son. But because this guy, isn't he too weak? He is too weak, but we're just hoping that because there is a kill, yeah, maybe he's gonna recover. Thank you. My name is Benedict. I am the can manager here and welcome to Kudash Thank you so much. Wow, look at that, eh? That is just insane. This is crazy! Whoa! This is so cool! No way! Wow! This is so cool! Holy smokes, there's a kid's room. I've literally found the perfect lodge. I've literally found the perfect lodge.
what, what I want you guys to do is just take that green leaf and nibble on it. Nibble, nibble, nibble. What you'll do is you'll pick up on these tracks, you'll know this is your boy because you saw him coming here. What you can do is that you can work out, all right, now I need to get a distinguishing factor or a distinguishing way to know that this is my elephant. The most reliable method is you take the outline of the track, you measure it with your belt, or you it gives you the exact shoulder height of that elephant. Wow. So especially if you have seen the elephant before, you can work out the exact size of that animal. You can know, okay, well, that elephant did look like it was, its shoulder height was here. So that is our elephant. Okay. This is amazing! It's only this deep, 0 0.4. This is literally perfect for children. You've got the pool right here. Over there you've got the kids' room with the tea, with the tea for the for the adults and the tea for the kids. And there's a whole bunch of like games stuff for the kids to play with. It is amazing. Like this place is crazy. My experience was quite spread out. This is crazy. So I would rate in Combe 3.8 out of 5. Very small traversing area, so not a lot of space to find animals. They have no traversing rights. The food was quite mediocre. I didn't really enjoy the food so much. The rooms were very simple. It is beautiful, the area. It's on a river. It's very, very stunning. They have a nice gym. They have a very nice gym, but it didn't tick enough of the boxes for me. They need more space to traverse to find more animals, definitely. I would rate in Dube 4 out of 5. Wonderful guides, really, really good guides, uh, very knowledgeable. The area is beautiful, it's very close to like Ulusaba and Leopard Hill. The food wasn't quite up to the standard that I would like. I think the food was the thing that just brought it down. And I would say the rooms were a little bit rustic. They were like old foot tracker Afrikaans style. That was a little bit unique. I would rate Shalati 4.8 out of 5. You have to drive on the public roads and the Kruger roads. They have no concession, so that's a downfall. But the food was excellent. It was like the best food I've ever, ever had. Really, really good quality. And I have dietary requirements. I am plant-based and the chef just like hit it out of the park. What was really nice about Shalati is that you wake up with a 180 degree view of the sand river and it's just stunning like to see the sand river to stay in those carriages the aesthetics the vibe of staying in the train just unbelievable like really and value for money like talk about value for money the train is such value for money like i highly recommend the train it's definitely my top five to experience so far lukimbi 4.8 out of five. I love Lukimbi because it is a really, really, really big concession. It's 14,000 hectares. You've got so much space. You have trackers on the front so that they can actually track the animals. The food was off a menu and the food was amazing. I love the aesthetics of the room. They're very wood styled. It's very like old fashioned wood style. And there's this like mythical idea of the Lukimbi, which is half lion, half uh, owl. And I love that story element. They actually put like stories on the bed and that was really, really cool to come back in the evening and read a story. So thank you so much for this, um, for this, for enjoying, for experiencing Africa with me, joining me on this experience. I hope your experience at the moment is wonderful because life is just so beautiful, guys, and we should just make the most of it. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.